Today we're going to talk about how to edit our comments inside our comments section of this website here. And before we get started, I want to give you guys a small disclaimer to what it is we're going to be doing for this episode. Now, typically, when you go to some kind of website, let's say YouTube or Facebook, and you want to edit a post. Now, when you hit the edit button, typically in a website, you're going to be able to edit the post directly where the post is, or they might actually open up a separate window where you can edit the post. Now, because I want to focus purely on PHP for this series, we will not be able to do it that way. Typically, we need some kind of front-end language like JavaScript, jQuery, which is JavaScript, uh, in order to do this sort of thing, you know, to make it look fancy. But because this is a pure PHP lesson series, I want to stick with PHP, which means that when we do actually hit the edit button in our version of this website, we're going to get taken to a separate page where we can see the full post and we can edit it. And once we hit the submit button or the, you know, edit button, we're going to get sent back to this front page where we have the comment section and you can see the edited post here. So that's how we're going to do it for this episode. Now, if you guys are a little disappointed by this, because it does actually look a lot nicer to just be able to edit a post directly down here or have a small window pop up and you can edit the post, then I will look into it when I get to a JavaScript and jQuery tutorial series on this channel. Um, but for now, we're going to have to stick to this method here. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our coding files. And we need to actually create the edit button that we're going to use and click in order to get taken to a separate page where we can then edit the post and submit it. So what we need to do is we do actually need to go into our uh, comment section, which is inside our comments.inc.php. Because in here we have a, a function called get comments. So inside here, right after we end off the paragraph tag, right before we close the div inside the echo here, we're going to create a form because we want to create a form that only has a button that can send all these values that we have in here to the next page that we need to edit in. So inside my echo here, I'm going to go ahead and open up a form and close it, of course, like so. We're going to create a button to start with and close it. So now that we have this, we can actually go ahead and give it a name. So we can say edit. And we also need to include a couple of inputs. Now these inputs are going to be hidden, which means that we can't actually see anything inside the website. But once we hit that button, we're going to send all this information to the next page where we can use it. So let's go ahead and create an input or just simply copy paste something we have somewhere. Let's go to the front page. Let's take this input here called, uh, which has a type as hidden and just simply copy it. Now inside this input, we just pasted in, I'm going to go ahead and change the name. Uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and keep the name the same because we do actually need a UID to pass on to the next page, but let's go ahead and give it a new value, which is going to be equal to what we have inside dollar sign row UID because we need to make sure we pass on the information from the database that we have inside this function here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in, make sure we do actually end everything off correctly with double quotes around it and punctuation marks. So if you guys don't understand what we're doing here, we're basically taking all this information, passing it on to the next page so we can take it and edit it. And then when we hit the submit button or the edit button, it's then going to update the database with another function based on whatever we wrote inside the next page. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste this down a couple of times. I think we just need to do it four times. And what we're going to do here is the second one. Um, actually, we're going to keep the second one as UID. The first one we're going to set to ID because we want the ID of the user. So inside dollar sign row, we're going to simply say ID inside the first line. Inside the third line, we want to copy in the date. And I'm just going to go ahead and change it inside our dollar sign row also. And in the fourth one, we need to include the message. So I'm going to say message and paste it inside our dollar sign row. So now that we have this, we need to tell it that once we hit the submit button or the edit button down here, we need to go to another page. So inside our form tag, we're going to first of all set a method 
that tells us how we're gonna pass this information to the next page. We're gonna set it to post, which means that it's gonna be hidden inside the URL. And we need to set an action. And I'm gonna set it equal to, uh, let's say edit comment dot php, which is probably not a very creative name, but that's what we're gonna call it for this episode for practice purposes. So now that we have this, let's actually go ahead and see what we have inside the website so far. So as you guys can see, we do actually have an edit button. Now, because of the styling, I did actually went ahead and just styled all edit buttons the same way as, you know, as we have up here in, the, in where we can write comments. Um, so we might want to uh, style this a bit differently. So let's go ahead and give this form a class as edit dash btn as edit button. Go into our style sheet and go to the very bottom here. We're gonna go ahead and create a class called edit button. Yeah, so the first thing we're gonna put inside the edit button is going to be position because we need to position this button up in the top right corner of our comment section here. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go ahead and, oh, we do actually have an undefined UID. We need to change that. Um, but let's take care of the edit button first. So we need to put the button up here in the right corner. In order to do that, we're gonna use a position absolute, which basically means that we need to put it somewhere based on the box it's inside of. So I'm gonna go ahead and say position absolute, top, zero pixels, which means it's gonna be zero pixels from the top, right, zero pixels. And now when I hit, uh, what do you call it, refresh, it's gonna do this thing but we don't actually see the button anymore. And the reason for that is that when we scroll up to the very top here, you guys can see we have it up in the top right corner. Now, the reason it's doing that is because it's not recognizing our comment section as an actual element, which it's gonna move up in the corner of. Now, the way we change that is by going to our comment box styling. We're gonna set comment box, the class to position relative which doesn't really do anything unless we actually tell it to go from the top or left to right or bottom. It's not gonna do anything other than allowing for this button here to recognize it as an element that we can actually move it somewhere inside of. So now what we need to do is let's go ahead and go down to our edit button. Now this doesn't really make sense. Let's actually go ahead and change the name here. I apologize for that. Let's say edit form and then go ahead and copy this paste it below here. And let's change the name as well inside of our uh, comments that ink the PHP. Now, this is actually a form styling, which is why I want to change to form. Nothing that's gonna break anything. It just makes more sense to write it this way. So down inside our edit form, we're gonna say space button in the one we just pasted in or like copy pasted. And we're gonna go ahead and set a new width as maybe 40 pixels. Now I haven't actually checked this yet, so I'm not entirely sure if we need to put 40 pixels or not. Uh, but let's go ahead and give it a height as 10 pixels, I'm guessing. Color as hashtag 282828. And let's go ahead and remove the background color. So we're gonna say, actually no, for now, let's keep the background color because we need to see what we're doing here. If I refresh, you guys can see that it was not quite enough, the height. So we need to give it more than 10 pixels. Let's give it 20, which is roughly where we want it. Um, so now we're gonna change the background color. Background color is going to be hashtag FFF because it's on a white background already. Or you could set it to transparent, it's up to you. There we go. So now we have an edit button. Let's do one last thing to this button, which is that we're gonna go ahead and say when we hover on it, we want to change something. So we're gonna say copy paste, colon, hover, and we're gonna go ahead and remove everything from inside the styling. Now inside the original styling of the button, on top of here, we're gonna set an opacity to 0 0.7. We're gonna copy this opacity, paste it inside the hover effect, and set it to one. So now, when we do actually refresh, it becomes slightly transparent, but when we hover on it, you can see that we get this nice little, you know, 
indicator that we're actually hovering on it. So now that we have this, let's actually go ahead and fix this ID mistake here. 24, let's actually check the database because I might be wrong about, yes, it's not called ID, it's called CID, which is why we can't find it. So then when we have our ID input, we're gonna go ahead and change it to CID inside the row and inside the name as well. I guess that would be nice to do. Now we have no errors. So what we're gonna do now is when we hit this edit button, you guys can see we have edit comment.php object not found. So we need to actually create the page where we can edit this uh, comment. So we're gonna create a new page in here. We're gonna save it inside our root folder as edit comment.php. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and copy the entire front page or the entire index page so now that we pasted everything in, we need to start deleting some of these things because we don't need everything from the front page. For example, we don't actually need to get all the comments. So let's actually go ahead and delete that function. We don't need the iframe. And I think that was basically it. So now that we have this, we're actually gonna go ahead and make changes to the form that we have down here, which is basically the comment form that we have inside the front page. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete our well, actually, let's just keep this for now, but I'm going to go ahead and get the values from the URL, which has been passed on by a post method from our comments.inc.php file here, or the function called get comments. So we need to get the CID, the UID, the date, and the message. So once we go back to edit comments, we're going to go ahead and right beneath our PHP tag, we're going to say dollar sign underscore post. Well, actually, let's go ahead and copy some of this stuff because we have done this plenty of times before. And inside this document, we're going to go ahead and copy our uh, parameters or the post parameters that we passed inside the URL for the set comments function because we can reuse those. Let's go ahead and go back to edit comments and just simply paste those in. Let's actually go ahead and make this look nice like so. We need one more thing though because we also passed on the ID of our comment. So we need to change this to CID by copy pasting either one of these. I just chose UID. So now we have all the different values. So what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and edit this form down here. So it matches something we would use in order to edit a comment. And this can be styled in any kind of way you guys want. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some very basic stuff to it down here. So we still need to set the method as post we are gonna set a new action, which is going to still be a function, but not set comments. It's gonna be called edit comments. And we haven't actually created this function yet. Down here, we have the input. We're gonna go ahead and keep our UID hidden, but we're also gonna go ahead and include our new value, which we got from the URL up here, which is called UID. So we're gonna write double quotes, punctuation twice, and paste in our PHP code. Down here where we have the date, we're also gonna pass on the date. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, copy. Or we could just have copied this part here. That would have been easier. Actually, no, that would make no difference. Let's just copy this one up here. There we go. And paste it instead of the date down here. Inside the text message, we're gonna go ahead and set this one a value. So I'm gonna say value equal to Actually, no, we don't actually need to do that. Let's actually go ahead and put the text inside the text area. That would make more sense. So let's just go ahead and copy our variable up here. Now I just realized we didn't actually use the variable names up here either, but you can do it either way. I'll just show you guys what I mean in a second. So let's go ahead and paste in the message here and change these parameters we put in here with the actual variable names. We might as well do it since we've already created them. There we go. And there we go. Now it does essentially the same, like I said, it's just, it looks nicer. So now that we have this, let's actually go ahead and say down with the button, let's go ahead and name this one edit instead. And now if we were to go in and refresh our website, hit an edit button, we're probably gonna get an error message because it doesn't actually find our function. So if we go in and actually create the new function we referred to by copy pasting Let's just go ahead and take this function called set comments because it's closer to what we want it to be and change the name to edit comments. So now we do actually have a function named this correctly. So now if we go back to the website, 
Continue, there we go. We have a text area that says this is a test and you can edit it. So we can actually write in here and do stuff. So now that we have the actual text box and like I said, you guys can style it either way you want to. I will keep this styling for now, even though it does not look very pretty and it looks identical to the front page. Like I said, you guys can style it any kind of way you guys want to. Now that we have that and we hit the, uh, what do you call it, the button in here, the submit button, we're gonna go ahead and go into our edit comments function and do whatever that function tells us to do. So basically what we need to do is take the function we copy pasted in here and change the name to edit comments. We take this one and instead of writing an insert statement, we're gonna write an update statement. Now that's basically all we're gonna do here. Well, we're just gonna do one more thing, which is we do actually need to get the ID of the post or the comments. So we're just gonna go ahead and create another post get from the URL, or a post from the URL uh, called CID, like so. And now we can change the SQL string down here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete everything from inside of it. And we're gonna go ahead and write update. So we're gonna update uh, comments section, if I remember correctly, or is it comments? I think it's comments. I'm pretty sure it's comments from our database. We're gonna update comments and we're gonna go ahead and set a specific uh, column to another value. So we need to go ahead and say we want to change the message of this one. So we're gonna say message equal to single quotes. And it has to be equal to the new message that we're passing on from this form we have inside edit comment the PHP. So once we have this, we can say space, and now we need to determine where to edit this, because if I were to just go ahead and run this code, it would change all the comments inside our database to whatever we edited in here. So we need to specify specifically which comment needs to be edited. So I'm gonna say where, and then we're gonna go ahead and say CID is equal to the CID we passed on from the previous form inside edit comments, which had the CID passed on to it from our front page by the actual comment section, we hit the edit button. So we're kind of doing a inception thing here. We're passing on information from the front page to the edit comment page to the function in here, which might seem a bit weird, but that's how we're gonna do it, like I said, without JavaScript and jQuery. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this variable up here, paste it in here. So we have CID equal to dollar sign CID, and that's basically it. The last thing we need to do is to actually take us back to the front page. So I'm gonna create a header function. And inside the parentheses, we're gonna say location. Well, first of all, we're gonna say double quotes, then location with a big L, colon, and then we're gonna say index.php. So now, if I go back to the website, and let's actually go back to the comments, uh, to the actual front page, refresh, and now hit an edit button. So let's go ahead and say we want to edit, this is a comment, which is the second comment we have inside here, or at least I have in here. Then you guys can see that it says, this is a comment. I'm gonna say, this is a edited version, exclamation mark. And I wanna hit edit. We get taken back to the front page and we didn't actually get it updated for some reason. So we need to check for an error message. Okay, so I did actually find the error and this is actually a pretty silly one to have. So you guys might've caught this one. We did actually write the code, but inside our form, inside our edit comment.php file, we forgot to include an input for the CID, you know, the comment ID. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste my UID input and change the names to CID inside our name and value. So now that we have this, it should actually work. So if you go back to our website, refresh, and I'm gonna go ahead and edit my first post, which did actually work down here because I did actually test it. If I hit edit and change the post to, this is a edited version, you guys will see it works. So now our post is in fact edited. So this is basically how we edit posts inside our comment section. And in the next episode, we're gonna talk about how to delete posts. So we're gonna go ahead and edit off here. It's already been way too long, this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.